I've long been a proponent of everyone having their own simple, basic, uh, personal website. I have my own personal website over here. Um, and even on that website, I talk about how everyone should have a uh, network of simple, single tenant sites connected via WebRings and RSS. Uh, but I haven't seen a clear guide on what is the best way to set up a website if I don't have any money or technical ability. Well, technical ability, I can't help you with, but there are many, many resources where you can learn the very basics of HTML and CSS, which is all you need to make a simple website. Um, but I will now just suggest a few very cheap or mostly free uh, web hosting services where you can get started. Uh, so the first one is where I'm hosting my personal website, which is cities.org. Uh, this is a pretty popular one. I mean, yeah, you just put a website on there. It's very simple. They just let you host a website for free. No JavaScript. You do have a limit on certain file types and file sizes, but uh, it's good enough for most of your basic website needs. Uh, I would definitely recommend NeoCity. But now, before we continue, I want to talk about this uh, card. Now, this might be one of the most popular uh, places for people to host personal websites. And uh, I do not recommend it. I do not recommend card. The reason being that when you try and make a card, it's going to recommend you all of these terrible, terrible looking, terrible, just bad. And even if you want to make a blank canvas, you gotta, you gotta do all of this nonsense with, with editing text. Box. Just let me type HTML. Don't make me do it. Don't mess with anything like this. If you see a, uh, something and it's like, here's some um, uh, really easy to use website builder, just ignore it. HTML is very easy. It's, it's very, very easy. It will take you five minutes to learn how to write P, P and H, and that's all you need. So instead, I'm going to be recommending you to use necoweb.org which is very, very similar to NeoCities. If, uh, the, these two are effectively interchangeable. It's just the same sort of thing as NeoCities. Um, you can just host a simple text-based website, but it's an alternative. And it's good to have alternatives because these are free services and uh, they're not maintained by you. Someday they might go down. Um, they, might, they might disappear. And then, well, then we're all screwed. The next one I'm going to be recommending is this. This is just Web 1.0 hosting. It has a bit of a weird URL. Um, and uh, this is specifically for like web pages that look like this. Pure Web 1.0. Not even really any CSS or anything complicated like that. Uh, there's, you probably don't need anything more than this. For, for most of the stuff you're going to be doing on a simple personal website, you know, have a little bit of info about yourself, maybe a blog. You don't need anything confusing or complicated. Don't don't overcomplicate things. This this type of brutalist web design is a uh, an aesthetic in itself. And although I've never personally used this service, it seems to be pretty good. So web one point and you can do more complicated stuff. As it says, hosting of modern websites and the use of modern technologies are also permitted. So you can you know make something a bit more complicated than doing it like this if you really want to. But uh, this is another place I recommend. Um, but a place where you can't do anything more complicated would be somewhere like the Midnight Pub. Uh, this is just a place where you can write posts and create pages. Pretty simple. If we just click a random one here. Uh, yeah, you just, just write a little post. It's almost like a social media site mixed with uh, a, a blogging platform, you know, comments. It's also got uh, your Geminis and your Gophers, if that's something that you um don't know what that means don't worry too much about it but speaking of gemini's and gophers we also have flounder.online which is pretty similar you can make a little page uh if we just click here uh um yeah and you can just give you a little url with whatever username you use um and it's very simple interface to write posts here 
What I like about it is it's because with the sites that you make, they're very simple text-based websites. I look at the source. You know, that's all it is. Just some tweets, BRs, nothing, nothing too complicated. Cool. That's very good. It means you'll run very quickly, load instantly on a, on a work on old or text only web browsers. Um, it's great. Definitely recommend flounder.online. Now, this is not entirely free. This is, but, but it is very cheap. Uh, Nearlyfreespeech.net. Of course, you know, this is just web hosting. You can host websites. You're going to get the, the picture here that the, most of these, they just let you host websites and there's nothing very complicated going on. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I'm just giving you options. Uh, and finally, I'm going to be recommending you sdf.org. I also host a website here, the Gemini Capsule. Uh, I don't remember if you need a paid account uh, in order to make a website, but even if you do, that's like a really cheap one-time payment. Um, but being a member of the SDF community, you know, this has been around since 1987. It's one of the oldest communities on the internet. Um, it's just, it's just nice. You'll get a lot of, also out of just being in the SDF, uh, pubnics, not just to sort of use, use them for web hosting. Uh, although to do something like this, uh, you're going to need to learn how to use SSH, uh, which is not very complicated if you've ever been inside of a Unix machine before, you'll know how it works. And if you've never done that, uh, you will learn something, which is good. You will grow as a human being. And now speaking of SDF and Pubnixes, here's a big list of a whole bunch of Pubnixes. There's a bunch of them. There's so many. Do you see all of these? All of these ones that I've just highlighted. These are all public access Unix systems. Uh, you SSH into them, make an account, you SSH into them, you know, and the majority of these also offer either web hosting or gopher hosting or Gemini hosting. Uh, the vast majority of them will offer some sort of hosting. So if that seems like something interesting to you, not just, you know, finding a place like NeoCities to put your website up, but also being a member of a community, uh, then I would recommend something like SDF or one of these other pubnixes might be something that you might want to try out. Um, now, I've been pretty careful here to recommend uh, services that don't offer a bunch of bloat and JavaScript and tracking and ads because none of us want that, let's be honest. But if you really want to go old school, there is nothing wrong with setting up a web server yourself. I recommend you visit this site called homebrewserver.club. They have a bunch of really well-made tutorials on how to figure up a Apache web server. If you have an old laptop lying around, this is something that is surprisingly easy to do. And uh, if you already have an old laptop, it's free. So that's also another option if you want to host your own website, but it is a little bit more involved, of course. Uh, and obviously you'll need to have some sort of computer that's turned on all the time, or at least turned on whenever you want your website to be available. Uh, and you may have to pay for a domain name of money. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my guide to a few different places you can find uh, to host a simple static website for free, or in some cases more than that, or in some cases less than that. Uh, feel free to look around. You might think to yourself, I don't really have any need for a personal website. This seems like a lot of complicated nonsense. Well, you probably have a social media profile, so you do like communicating with people on the internet. If you don't, then good for you. That's great. Um, but if you like talking to people on the internet, having your own little space, a uh, social media profile is very limited, very limiting, very limited, relies on corpos and uh, is full of unpleasant software, such as ads and trackers. It would be nice to host your own website. So, although, unless you're doing this, you're not literally hosting your own website. You're host someone else is hosting your website. But it's still better, okay? It's, it's just cool. Can we just admit that it's cool and fun? It's fun. It's fun. So that's, that's the video.